to my video on using tools of improvisation to have a jam session, to brainstorm, and even maybe to create some musical compositions of your own. I'm Katherine Smith, and I am the horn instructor at the University of Wyoming, as well as Casper College. I'm also a very active freelancer in the Wyoming and Colorado areas. As a result of COVID-19, I've lost about two thirds of my income. So I'm so grateful for this reason and many, many more to the Laramie Public Art Coalition for creating this project and helping me fund uh, the making of this video. My hope in making this video for you is that you will be able to find inspiration in the musical realm from your own heart, from your own voice, from your own body, um, and uh, therefore be more empowered in the world in general, in your own abilities in general, and maybe even in a musical way, um, especially during COVID times, but really forever. So the first thing we're going to talk about is what if you only have yourself? So I'm going to talk about three different ways that you can approach at least beginning improvisation by yourself, jamming by yourself with the music in your head. The first is basically just play your rhythm. Grab whatever your instrument is, here's mine, and just play your rhythm. So here's my rhythm. <laughs> So you can see myself trying to get into it, right? Get in the mood. Sometimes moving around can be really helpful to inspire you. Next, maybe you do the same rhythm and you add a few other notes, right? Go off instead of one note, you move to a few others. <laughs> It's going and it sets kind of a like almost a train track for you to get on and then maybe once you get going you feel inspired to move on and change the rhythm so it might look something like this <laughs> So you heard that I stuck with that kind of feel, but I changed the rhythm a little bit within that same feel. I changed some of the notes, right? So really there are no wrong answers. I want to emphasize that. So the second way that I'm going to talk about that you can approach improvisation by yourself is with timbre, with sound. Use even just your voice. That is all you have or pots and pans if that's all you have, or anything around your house really that's going to make any noise. Um, if you have a kazoo, great. Um, some people have a melodica, some people have recorders or guitars or little keyboards. If you have a smartphone or even um, probably whatever you're watching this on, you can download an app, it's a piano app. On my horn, there are some pretty fun sounds that I can make. Obviously there's the normal one, you know. I can play loud. I can play soft. I can play a variation. I can use the hand in the bell. Kind of an elephant sound. 
of an elephant sound you get the idea so go around just create some combinations of sounds try to see what they sound like when you put them together or you play them in a sequence maybe put them in some sort of rhythm the last improvisational technique I'm going to talk about for soloing uh, or just improvising by yourself is taking a melody that you already know and love beginning with that and then see where it takes you so how about this one <laughs> in between it that um, add a little bit more pizzazz or make it more extra as the kids are saying these days um, or perhaps a new melody comes from this awesome melody that you figured out so you got your melody and you see what comes <laughs> improvisation or jam session I'm going to teach you about today is with two players. These are some suggestions for how you might go about that. You don't even have to talk about it if you want. You can just start, but um, here are some general guidelines for some ways to approach that. First is the drone. So basically one person plays a drone, which is really just one note held for an indefinite amount of time and the other person plays on top of that. So as I had the second player play along with the drone player, I might experiment with several different kinds of improvisation on top of that. The first being a similar kind of just slow one note uh, interactions with the drone. First maybe I'll play some very dissonant tones that kind of clash a little bit and then maybe I'll play some very consonant tones or ones that sound very harmonious and you're like ah and then maybe I'll try switching back and forth I'll find the other player <laughs> First thing that I might do is with the drone. The second is I could play a melody over top of it that I know. So for instance, Perhaps I will just 
a little improv on top of um, but if you don't, maybe interacting some, maybe just making some stuff up, do whatever you want. That that drone is kind of a um, grounding place for you as a player to be like, okay, right, the drone and the person. The second technique that you can use to play with another person is by utilizing an ostinato. An ostinato is a figure or pattern in music that is repeated over and over and over again. You probably want to try and make it very rhythmic, like in the very first example I used with playing by yourself. And it allows the second person to kind of get a groove that you set for them, and then they play on top of that in top on top. <laughs> configuration that I'm going to talk about is jamming with three people or more really and just to demonstrate that you don't have to have the same instrument or anything like that and you don't have to be a professional I'm going to do the first two parts on the horn and then I'm going to add the third part just using my voice I'm not trained I just really love to sing so I hope that helps you feel a little more comfortable in joining in in any kind of jam session you feel like. So the second part in this three-part jam session could be another drone on top of that drone. Um, and that could possibly sound like this. Or maybe instead of two drones, we have one drone and one ostinato, that repeating figure. Maybe that sounds something like this. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So when you're the second person playing an ostinato along with someone else already playing an ostinato, what you would like to do is interact with them. Again, I, mean, I cannot stress enough that there are no wrong answers. There is just inspiration and trying to put it through whatever vessel you're using. So now it's your turn. In a minute, I'm going to record about two and a half minutes of an ostinato or repeated figure, as we discussed, and I invite you to jam along with me. Just a heads up, I am going to change it up a little bit, so it's not going to be two and a half minutes of exactly the same thing, but don't worry, the groove will stay exactly the same. So grab a special outfit if you want to help you get into the mood. Embrace the silly, the awkward, the serious, or whatever comes up in this experience. Leave your ego and your inner critic at the door because we don't need them because there are no mistakes in this experiment. I purposefully left really raw footage in this video. Every time you see me play, I really truly am making something up on the spot. And so it's a little bit rough in places. But I make mistakes too. Everyone in the world does. Everyone around you is a perfectly raw and imperfect human being. And I think that's one thing that makes us in the world so beautiful. And if you feel so inspired, record yourself jamming with me and post it to social media. Tag me and tag the Laramie Public Art Coalition. We would love to see your video. So pause the video right here, go grab your instrument or whatever you're going to be using, and I'll see you in our jam session.
sometimes we improvise something that we just love so much we want to write it down. Maybe someone else's playing has inspired you to write something else of your own as well. That is when we get into the realm of musical composition that we write down for others to be able to enjoy and play as well. My great friend and a robust member of the Laramie music community, as well as my lovely colleague here at the University of Wyoming music department, has graciously agreed to very quickly compose a piece of music for me. It was written just for you and just for this occasion, and it's aptly named Wash Your Hands. The piece alternates between two contrasting sections, the first being a little more frantic and humorous and quirky, if you will, and the second being much more lyrical and contemplative and slow and soft. As you can see, I have changed. I have practiced as much as I have been able to since receiving the piece, and I am ready to perform this for you. So thank you again, Annie, for providing this wonderful piece for us to enjoy today. I hope you enjoy. Wash your hands. I am good to
that's kind of part of what all is in the part and the uh, dab jack of kind of encourage you encourages you to also be doing or if there are some gaps in there also now to Austin Yanto. General population in um, the population in general seems to feel that way um, as far as lay people who are not professional professional pupe. Member of the Laramie Music Committee. And this. Oh God. Leave your in. The first video. The first. The first jam session. <laughs> never a bad time. That's actually not true. Okay, good. That's good enough. Alright. That's enough for now.